As the Polish government faces backlash over a tweet invoking the Holocaust, one weighs in on the conflict. When America's Nathaniel Manor has that story. The Auschwitz-Birkenau Memorial Museum condemns Poland's Law and Justice Party for using footage of the Auschwitz concentration camp in a recent campaign video. The museum says this cheapens the Holocaust and the memory of the millions of Jewish people who tragically perished. Here to unpack this story is editor of the Jewish News Syndicate, Jonathan Tobin. Jonathan, thank you so much for coming on. Thanks for having me. All right, so the Law and Justice Party put out the video in response to one of a uh, uh, Andre Duda's critics, uh, Tomas Lee, saying he belonged in a chamber. The video asks Polish citizens if they want to march under the Nazi banner. So is the president's video actually anti-Semitic if he's denouncing uh, those who allegedly support the Holocaust? I wouldn't say that, you know, obviously the intent there is not anti-Semitic. Um, just as I think the, the mention of the chamber, uh, you know, the person who said that uh, said he meant to write another word. Um, you know, the point being is that both the uh, initial uh, jab and the response um, are really touching what, you know, uh, we'd say the, sort of the third rail of Polish and Jewish sensibilities to mention Auschwitz, to talk about death chambers, to talk about marching under the Nazis. These are all highly sensitive. And to use Auschwitz imagery is always image, you know, it's it's always inappropriate. There's no analogy to the Holocaust. It never should be used as a political weapon. Right. Um, so we've seen both journalist uh, Tomas Lee as well as President Duda apologize for their statements. They both said we shouldn't politicize the Holocaust. Uh, but the Polish government has also passed a bill back in 2018 saying anyone who notes Poland's role in the Holocaust uh, could be imprisoned for up to three years. So do you believe this, these are actually valid apologies? Well, um, you, you'd always like to say they didn't mean it so fine, but the real issue here isn't whether or not they've apologized. The real issue is the use uh, of, of the memory of what happened during World War II, during the Holocaust, in Polish politics. What they're not right about is their hypersensitivity about any mention of Polish anti-Semitism. Poland remains a country where anti-Semitism is very strong. The, Surveys of, of uh, measures of anti-Semitism show, show it very high, higher than most of its neighbors. And in the pre-war era and during the Holocaust, that anti-Semitism was still there. Poles suffered. Poles fought. But Poles often, in some cases, collaborated with the Germans as far as um, trying to kill Jews. And indeed, when some Jews, uh, survivors, returned to their homes after the war, they were subjected to violence. So, you know, that's not something that Poles like to talk about. And to some extent, that, that's justified. But their attempt to cover up the past leads to a lot of not just misunderstandings, but distortions of history. All countries have to be honest about their past, about, their, about what they're doing. And it has become, certainly um, for, I think, all Polish parties, but especially the governing party, sort of an article of faith, never to speak about the dark side of Poland's past, only to speak about its suffering and its heroism. Um, I guess that's a human instinct, but it leads to um, the politicization of this memory. It leads to real anger on the part of Jews who have a historical memory of Polish anti-Semitism and don't think it should be covered up. All right. Well, you just heard from Jonathan Tobin of the Jewish News Syndicate. Jonathan, as always, it's great to have you on. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.